Hi everyone, Skalk here. This is just going to be a very quick video. I just want to ask you the question, do you think it's a good idea to invest in Meta and the Metaverse right now? Or do you think it's a very bad idea? So what's happened is, you know, during the pandemic, a lot of my friends made a lot of money by investing in stocks. And I feel that I've missed out because I haven't invested any money in stocks. And just now I decided, well, I'm probably going to have to start doing something about it and also start investing. So then I saw on the 3rd of February 2022, Facebook stock plummets 26% in its biggest one day drop ever. Now, of course, Facebook is now more known as Meta. And now we also know about the, the Metaverse and where the metaverse is actually heading. So for those people that don't know what the metaverse refers to, here's just one little sentence here that explains that to you. If you don't know what the metaverse is, think of it as a virtual world. So even when you think about NFTs now, NFTs is pretty much just part of being able to own digital property or to basically own part of what the virtual world represents. So if you look at this, for example, this is absolutely insane. A JPEG image, which was turned into a NFT for $69 million. It is just absolutely insane. Let me just scroll down quickly and let me just show you an image here. This image here sold for $7.6 million. Look at this image. Look at how pixelated it is. Why would anybody want to pay $7.6 million for a ridiculous looking image like that? That's a question that I'm asking myself. And to be very honest with you, I've got no understanding of it at all. Now, when it comes to the metaverse, however, we are talking about an actual virtual world where you can even buy property in this virtual world. And that is why Forbes magazine said that this is back in November the 14th, 2021. This is before the collapse actually happened. Why you absolutely must invest in the metaverse. And I think just thinking about NFTs and what I've just explained to you, it maybe starts making sense why it is a very good idea to invest in the metaverse. Because if people is prepared to pay 7.6 million or 16.9 million for an image, an NFT image, what will people be prepared to pay for virtual property? And there's already virtual properties on sale and it sells for ridiculous amounts of money. So of course, when you think about the metaverse, you're not only thinking about meta, it's much bigger than that. It's just that meta is really pushing for the metaverse and getting themselves ready to position themselves for the metaverse in a big way. You can even see here Disney Metaverse as well. So even Disney is getting involved here and they're also now creating you know, NFTs, and Disney NFTs. So you can see there's big companies that's getting involved here. There's a lot of businesses out there as well that wants to get the business logos created or changed into NFTs. So what I've decided to do is I have decided to get on the bandwagon when this happened, the 3rd of February, and it plummeted by 26% in its biggest one day drop ever, I decided to, to buy the very next day and to invest in Meta. And I'll show you um, in a bit what I've actually done. But now in the meanwhile, what's happened is this was in last year, November, that it all happened, um, the reporting of Forbes magazine about, you know, you should really get in there and you should really invest in the Metaverse. But then just after that, the very next year, you've got a 26% drop happening here. You've got all sorts of issues happening and going on. Here we go, Meta warns it may shut Facebook in Europe, but European leaders say life would be very good without it. So the main thing that was happening here is the issue comes down to European data regulations that prevent Meta, the company formerly known as Facebook, from transferring, storing and processing Europeans' data on US-based servers. You can also see the main problems here that's highlighted is the company blamed privacy changes to Apple's iOS and macroeconomic challenges weighing on advertiser budgets. So there are basically three main points to highlight here. So the first problem here, we give an expected revenue growth in the next quarter reported by Meta. That was one of the big reasons why we saw the plummeting in the stock value 
Problem number two, that's Apple's privacy laws. So anyone that using an Apple iOS device, they've got the option to opt out of Facebook ads and that costs the company a lot of money. And then problem number three is the problem with Europe. The issue comes down to European data regulations that prevent Meta, the company formerly known as Facebook, from transferring, storing and processing Europeans' data on US-based servers and that obviously also results in Meta not being able to deliver targeted ads. So let me show you what I've decided to do. So I'm on eToro here and I've decided to register an eToro account because after a lot of research I've done, I found eToro to be a very reputable company. You will also see them everywhere on television and around cities pretty much being sponsors or sponsoring big companies, sponsoring sports events, etc. And their fees seemed to be the best or some of the best fees you will find on eToro, I should rather say. And then also, if you want to buy cryptocurrency, you can also actually buy cryptocurrency through eToro. And that's one of a few platforms really that allows you to buy stocks and to buy cryptocurrency. Many times it's either one or the other. And that is the reason why I've decided to go with eToro. I will have a link in this video description as well. Should you wish to sign up to eToro, you're welcome to do so. So what I've done here is I have decided to buy Meta stocks at the price of $237. That's what it was costing for one stock. And like I told you, I wasn't gonna go crazy. I'm just testing the waters. I only bought two stocks. So I invested a total of $474.44, and that was the price per stock. And I can see at the moment, the current price is only $210.56. So at the moment, I'm actually lost $52.96. And to be honest with you, it actually climbed a little bit just yesterday, or actually the day before, the price was below $200, it was something like $196 actually. And I was about to actually buy more, but I, I didn't. So I'm basically asking you the question, what do you think I should do right now? Do you think I should invest more in Meta? Or do you think it's not a good thing to invest in right now? Very good question. I just wanna show you something else, which is quite interesting as well on eToro, which also makes it quite unique, is that you will also have other people here and you know big investors as well which will give you information about what they think the best stocks is to invest in right now and you can also copy their trades as well so this guy for example he's just talking about the five promising tech companies that are quite cheap at the moment to invest in and i think it's american companies he's referring to here so if you go down you will see his number one recommendation at the moment is the meta platform actually because he's saying here now for our last one we have facebook a company that has fallen from grace even though that wasn't completely justified while the company didn't really hit the mark in 2021 and they lowered the outlook for 2022 it still did great the earnings grew by 37 percent reality labs vr stuff is growing by 100 percent each year and more Facebook is still an amazing company that is worth every penny. And now that it's 30% cheaper, it is, in my opinion, a blind buy. So now I'm going to conclude the video here. I'm going to ask you, what is your opinion? Should I buy more stock? Should you be investing in Meta? Or do you think it's a bad buy at the moment because of all the problems that's happening with, for example, Europe? You know, uh, privacy laws when it comes to the iOS when it comes to Apple actually blocking blocking ads or having people to opt out of Facebook ads you know all the complications which I've mentioned so what is your opinion should you buy should you not buy meta stocks at the moment should you invest in the metaverse or should you not invest in the metaverse I'm looking forward to your responses in the comment section of this video thank you so much for watching take care